Hello, well, Mr. Fox here. I like to show people games that they haven't seen before, or some games that are really old. This is the game lounge, of course. We sell collectibles and other things. Primarily, we focus on video and tabletop gaming, and today I'm going to show you the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles handheld LCD game. It looks like this. These are rare to see today. They're not very common. A lot of these games were complete crap. They weren't even really games at all. Uh, they're kind of interesting, I guess. This one is from 1989. The buttons could wear out easily and were pretty interesting. Uh, this one here, the down button doesn't appear to do much. I think there's obstacles and you can move down onto them. Now, this uh, moves you forward and back, up allows you to jump. This button attacks behind you, this one in front of you. How is it working with you? And, uh... They make a lot of noise, and they have a game that's on the LCD screen. But... These games are... Really hard to film, because... The light reflects off the screen, and... It's just complicated, but I'm going to try to do that as little as possible. So you turn it on, da -da 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 -da. and then you have a game select switch. You turn the sound on and off. There's the off button, of course. Anyway, let's select this game here. Oh, I died. So, uh, you die a lot in this game. Fortunately, the buttons work on this thing. Oops, jumped at the wrong moment. Oop, jumped at the wrong moment again. That's April over there on the far right hand of the side of the screen. There we go. So the way these work, I believe, is they use static images to create the illusion of movement. And I think there's only one turtle in here. So far, it's Leonardo. No, this is Michelangelo. So I think the different turtles appear each time you die. Uh, now you said that's April in the corner over there, and I'm trying to rescue her apparently. And those logs that appear in the water, I think I can get onto them, actually. Well, they haven't taught Dan yet either. She tried to do the register for me, so I ended up donating four dollars to their tip jar. And I bet you nobody still has taught her how to work it. She couldn't do the two. Whoops! Wasn't paying attention. No. So, uh, this game is pretty neat. And it didn't come out right. And she did it twice, and she says, oh, hell no. She says, I'll, I'll wait for them to teach me. But I bet she did it. Whoops. 
Fun game. Hard to see because it's really like difficult to record the screens of these things. So I have no idea how to play this game, but still, it's pretty interesting. Press the off button here. All its buttons appear to work, and it appears to be in good condition. So, that was the Ninja Turtles handheld LCD game. Fun game. Has three different game modes on it, but I haven't really noticed any difference between the three games you're supposed to be able to choose on here, so... These were very simple, interesting games, fun to play sometimes. Everyone and their grandma had these things. They were very common back in the late 80s to early 90s. I'm not sure when they stopped production of these things. This is one that was from Konami in 1989. Uh, a lot of these were actually made by the Tiger Company. Those were you know, Tiger handheld LCD games. Uh, this is one of the ones that was not made by Tiger. Which is kind of interesting because it makes it more unique. But equally as bad as the other ones. So, uh, you know, those are a unique novelty to have if you're a game collector. I personally don't recommend owning or playing any of those things. These things were really terrible video games, and I don't think anybody should try to play these because they were really hard in some cases, and all they're going to do is frustrate you. And then you want to chuck them against the wall and break them, which I'm sure happened to many kids back in the day. But, uh, these things didn't have a lot of functionality. They made some inventive noises, but all in all... You're probably better off never playing these at all. But, I'm glad I got to show it to you. They're interesting, and they're fun to see. Again, more of a novelty, you know. Uh, I don't recommend hunting these down to try and play them, because, again, they're not really that good, and some of them can be expensive collector's items today. So, you know, if you want to try and hunt these down and play them, go ahead. But, I don't recommend it. They're not that fun, and you'll just anger yourself and say, Why did I buy this? Ridiculous. These things are not worth owning, but they are interesting to see. So there's that. And that's all the time I have for today. Thanks for watching and joining me today. I, of course, am Mr. Fox from Mr. Kitsune's VIP Game Lounge, signing off. Thank you, and good night.